PADL stands for the Pennsylvania Animal Diagnostic Laboratory System. Here in Pennsylvania, we're part of a three laboratory system. So we have one laboratory here at New Bolton Center, a second laboratory up at Penn State, and a third laboratory at Harrisburg located with the Pennsylvania Department of Agriculture. If I were to sum up what PADLS does in one sentence, our role is to identify and prevent disease problems. So that's something that we do here every day. Disease problems can be all sorts of flavors. It can be infectious disease, it can be environmental contamination, and the thing that's really important about it is that not only things that threaten animal health, but can be things that threaten human health as well. The fact that these animals live with people, they may be people's pets, they may be people's livestock, and some of these animals may end up in the human food chain as well. One of the things that we provide for producers here in the state of Pennsylvania is GIS mapping, so Geographic Information System Mapping, where they actually freely provide current important information about where their farms are located, what kind of animals are on those farms, and we can populate a map with that. Why that's really important then is that's something that's managed, overseen, interpreted by our subject matter experts here. So in the event of an animal disease outbreak, we can give our best advice not only from a medical perspective, but from a disease containment perspective, how to really limit the spread, transmission of that disease, and then how to most effectively contain it as well. So in the past, we've had avian influenza disease outbreaks here in Pennsylvania. And not only are they very devastating in terms of the number of animals involved, but there's a significant economic cost as well. Our most recent outbreak cost the state approximately $400,000. However, because of the surveillance system and the subject matter experts that we had in place, compare that to a similar outbreak in Virginia that cost that state approximately $100 million instead. So because of that, we also have a really um, rigorous surveillance system in place. We do thousands and thousands of samples for avian influenza testing every single year, and on top of that, another tens of thousands of animal disease samples for other avian diseases that could be of high consequence to us here in Pennsylvania. We have other diseases like foot and mouth disease that we want to make sure we keep out of Pennsylvania in the United States. However, there's lots of other diseases that maybe we aren't fully aware of yet, maybe diseases that are present at low levels, maybe diseases that haven't previously caused a huge problem in animals or people, but those types of things change over time. So it makes it really important to be vigilant, to be taking the right samples, to be doing it constantly, to having the right people taking the samples, running the tests, and actually interpreting and communicating the results as well to make sure that if things are changing, if things are new, if things are a little different than what we usually see, that we really know to pay attention and when to go that extra step. And that's really probably one of the biggest advantages of being here at Penn, a research-based university, is where we have the right subject matter expertise, that we have something that is a little bit out of the ordinary, not routine, maybe requires some cutting edge technology, that Penn's the place to go for that, that we can have that all in one package, in one location, and all of it here in Pennsylvania to give the best service when we have a problem that arises.